What is going on guys? Aaron here, Curls on the Rack, back again with another DIY video. This video is kind of an adaption or an add-on really to the Bulldog Pad that I made, the DIY version of the Bulldog Pad from Sornex. In the other video, a buddy of mine sent me a pad from a seat that he no longer needed and I thought, why don't I make this into a floating bench, essentially. I call it the 21 jump seat because it looks like a little tiny jump seat you'd have in the back of a truck or I used to have one anyways, for the person, unfortunately, who squished in the back. And it functions just the same way as an incline bench would, but it's floating, there's no feet, nothing to trip on, and it essentially gives me an extra space to put in front of the mirror to uh, check my form or to stare at myself in the mirror while I'm working out. You know, That's why they have mirrors and gyms everywhere, because everybody likes to check their form. Uh, and so then I don't have to roll out the bench, and I could use this. Uh, so I will go ahead and show you guys exactly all the different exercises that this can be used for. And then if you're still on board, I'll show you how to make it. Okay, so here it is. Basically, it attaches, you can use bolts. I just thought these pins were a lot easier. It doesn't go anywhere, they work great. Uh, these are the rogue, the rogue pins, and basically it can be slid anywhere you want, up and down this upright with this portion of it. The seat moves all the way up and down here into any of these holes, and then also the bench moves up anywhere you want it, and also it angles. Also, this one angles. So this is the locked in position here, but as you can see, there's all these different holes and an angle right here and also right here on the seat portion of it. So you can come at any angle you want, pin it, and then essentially maybe you wanna go down like this, pin it there, you wanna move this seat up higher, you wanna move this back down. You have the options for anybody that's using this and for different exercises that you're wanting to perform to do that. Or let's say, for example, that I don't want the seat on there at all, I can just remove it. So say I wanted to do spider curls and that seat was gonna get in my way, you know? Then I can essentially use it like the bulldog pad or I can even take the seat and mount it up here, on here. Say I wanted a little extra support for my chest. It's getting, it's getting huge, so uh, I, need, I need a little wider, right? So then I can essentially pin this guy on there and do it like that. So it's fully customizable, tons of different uses. And rather than adjusting it into all those different positions, I put some footage on Instagram already, so I'll go ahead and roll that so you can kind of get an idea of different uses for this thing. Now, one of my favorite exercises to do on this so far, besides the um, you know chest supported rows and the spider curls that you can do on the bulldog pad, or you know you can do them on this one too, uh, is on shoulder day when I'm doing seated overhead presses, dumbbell presses, right? Uh, on my other bench, it goes up so high that my, my head is locked into place. And so I wanted something a little bit more like those commercial gym benches that you see that are sitting there, they go about halfway up on the back. So you essentially, your back supported, but you can move your head. Another thing that I actually am personally gonna do with this one is I am going to go ahead and attach this up higher on the rack and put some rack mounted pull-up handles on either side. Because remember, anything Three by three hardware, five eighth bolts will go on this. So I actually have some handles for the lever arm. So therefore I can continue to adjust the angle. So if I have the kids out here, they want to do pull-ups, they can't reach the top ones. 
I can always adjust it for them. So that's just another added benefit if you have somebody who's working out with you and they're a little bit shorter and you don't want to have to get a box or whatever for them to jump up on the pull-up bars. All right, so you're still with me. You want to build this thing. I'm going to go ahead and show you two ways to build this. One, I'm going to show you how I made this one and I actually welded it. Uh, but two, I'm going to show you how to use it just using bolts and hardware that you already have. So we'll go ahead and go over both versions and uh, let's get started. All right, the main piece here. This piece is a Rogue 3x3 cross member that I've cut down to 36 inches. Now on top here, we have the UHM plastic cap. We also have one down here. This is a bracket I also got from Rogue Fitness. Uh, none of this stuff is set in stone. You can use whatever you want. This is more of a template, but these brackets are for the um, rigs, the monster light rigs. And uh, I had a bunch of them that I got from somebody off of OfferUp. And I went ahead and I made angled holes on this guy. That's the only modification I had to make on, on this one. And then I went ahead and welded it on all four sides here. Now, I over welded it and then I grinded it. That way, I try to make it look as smooth as possible. Um, and I wanted to make sure that when I put a lot of weight on it, that it would not break. So I welded it, probably did like four passes on each side, grinded it down, and then eventually I painted it. Now, the angled holes, I do show you how to do the angled holes very easily on the other video, so I will not get into that on this one. Uh, but the other option that you have if you don't want to weld it is, as you can see here, these holes line up. You can just put bolts right through these holes, you can use the 5 8 hardware, washers, locking washers, all that stuff. The issue with that is the fact that, and the reason I welded it, is because it, with the bolt sticking out here, it does not sit flush against the rack. The bolts will hit the rack on that last position so you can't lock it straight up and down. I wanted to be able to store it as flush as possible, so that's why I went ahead and welded it. But if you don't feel comfortable doing that or you don't have the equipment, then uh, go ahead and just use the bolts here. You'd be good to go. And next up we have the pad. So the pad, uh, like I said, was given to me by a buddy. Good looking out, Jason. Uh, he didn't need it anymore. He had some equipment that he took it off of and uh, he was like, you want this? You can use this for something? I said, sure, send it over. Um, but you can also make this pad and I'll show you on the other one how I made the other one. It's not as nice looking, it's not as official, but uh, it'll do the trick. So basically what I did down here is I used that same bracket that I mentioned before that I used on the other piece and I made the same holes on this guy. And then what I did was I welded an additional piece that I had that I cut off an A-frame weight tree and I welded that guy to here, grinded it down and then I went ahead and I attached bolts into the seat. I put these on there just for some added support and the fact that these bolts were a little long, I don't wanna risk them going through the pad and me sitting on them and eventually poking through the other side. So that is how I made this one. I definitely would recommend adding this additional piece of metal just because the fact that you want some added extra support going farther out on here. It is wood underneath here with the pad and then a vinyl covering, but I just wanted to be safe. So that's why I added this piece. If you do not want to weld it and you have a piece of metal like this, you can move it back and have it sort of angled down, drill a hole here, and then drill a hole into the piece of metal up here, and then it will secure on there as well. And the final piece, definitely not the prettiest piece, uh, was a pad that I'd used in a couple of my other DIY projects before uh, that I had laying around. It's just vinyl, two by six, a bracket I got from Home Depot, and then I just put foam underneath it, and I put vinyl, very ugly, but it's what I had laying around, so that's what I use, and uh, it does the trick. Well, guys, that's all I have as far as it goes for the 21 jump seat. Now, I really like this piece of equipment, but let me know what you think of it in the comments section. And on the next video, uh, we're going to be doing a review on the Titan Fitness lever arm attached leg press, which I'm excited to spend a little time with. And that'll be my next video. So uh, until next time, guys, peace.